trigger finger and he's laughing, you know. But, uh, that's my daughter there. Ooh, she's nice looking. Yeah, she's the last one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's my show, well, the show we put on. I was telling you about my aunt's son for a place, and mm -hmm. she's still alive. He's dead, but she's still alive. She lives in Alabama now. Oh. She lives live in Texas. Mm -hmm. I love his frame. Yeah, that's my grandfather's brother that grows the James Gang for a while. He's that long. He, uh, mm -hmm. he got killed. Uh, uh, he died like a little bad, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was the arm of the year that I was in during Vietnam. And that's when I got this sort of staff sort of, you know. And then I got a lot of Indian friends. And we done a show on the back of a truck one time. <coughs> you come to find out the truck belonged to Betty's grandfather. Oh. And they had really done it and made a stage of it. Huh, how about that? That's neat. And that's some of any friends, that's some of the, the tobacco was on her. You give tobacco to give to an old, uh, your elder, an Indian elder. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's Betty when she was young. Wow, it's pretty there, isn't she? And then that was, this is Still pretty. My is that you? I thought she was going to tell me that was you. No. <laughs> that's, that was some, that's an old, old, that's one of my grandfather's tribe. Oh, how about yeah. that? From really his. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just memories, you know, I told her when I get a friend of mine, give me them bullhorns up there on the mm -hmm. doorway. And uh, I, I told Betty when I can't go no more, I can sit down here and look and we'll see where I've been, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I got these real old here. I kept them since the 50s. You know, when, uh, we used to be on radio and that's what we made. They we got what he made back then. Mm. Yeah. Four, four of us and we were going to radio and make 30, 35 hours between the four of us. How about that? Big time, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we thought we would. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah we, we come on in the evening at five, five, five or six o'clock in the evening, and that's when everybody's getting off of work and going home and stuff, and they have radios on. We voted number one for over two years. Mm. We got on that, there's a new radio station, I think the reason that we got on there is because they were having trouble finding and putting programs on. I think that's how we really got on there, you know. <laughs> they were hurting for, you know. But the, uh, this system here is all together different. They told me I couldn't do this and do this with this, and I wore it up and experimented and done it myself, and I got surround sound around it, all the way around the foot. Ah. Plus I got all my stuff marked. So you got it going to the big TV? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I, I, oh. and uh, I got it hooked into it. And uh, I experimented and got it just like a horn. And uh, I, it's got a good sound, but then it get recorded. I got all the settings on here, and when I get it recorded, it sounds pretty good on tape. But then I take it upstairs and I convert from tape to CD. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got a clean-up thing on there, mm -hmm. all of a sudden it cleans it up. And, we, and it, when you get done, it sounds just like it come on in the studio. Well, I hope you got enough stuff up there to clean mine up. <laughs> but, uh, it's pretty, it works pretty good, you know. <clears throat> here somewhere because you get close to that it's got I got a lot of sound back here too and mm -hmm. still have a speaker in front of me mm -hmm. yeah that's my own invention there okay so, you know this uh, uh I got so many clicks for recording and then so many clicks for regular practice 
practice in here. Oh, okay. It works out pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> or has been. Do what you want to do. Don't do what somebody else wants you to. That's right. Do what you want to. I don't know. How many is on those CDs? I don't remember. 